Alrighty, welcome to the very first From the Bench with Sleeper Scooters. Um, today we're going to be building a complete scooter. These instructions will be relevant for most park scooters because they're all built with similar parts. But obviously today we are building the beautiful Sleeper Holy Moly Complete. Alright, I start off with a fork. Put the wheel on. So basically our fork has a recessed nut cavity there, so you only need one tool. Six millimeter Allen key. Just when it's new, just hand unscrew it. Get a wheel, slide it in. Line up the uh, hole there with the bearings. Push the axle through. Give another bit of a tighten, and then you can just turn the nut around so it just sits inside the fork like that, and then. All you have to do put the allen key in give it a good tighten you know you go pretty tight on these you know just sort of hand tight but keep it nice and firm you don't want the bit uh, bearings to be loose or the wheel to be loose because that's how things get broken give the wheel a spin there you can see beautiful and smooth Then the next thing we will do is get the headset into, should I say the fork, into the deck of the scooter. So we unscrew the compression cap, this is called here. There we go, take that off. Take off that little bearing sleeve, take off the compression sleeve, go there, get one of your headset bearings, they're both exactly the same. Nice closed design, keep all the crap out. Now this one on the fork, you'll see on the bottom of the fork it's got this machined edge there which the bearing sits on. So I slide it in, I guess you'd call it upside down, the, the if you call the top of the bearing with that red circle, let's go upside down and you'll see it'll sit nicely on that. On the bottom of the fork then just lift up your deck slide it in get your second bearing top side up slide it over the fork and it sits into that little cavity basically on the deck top and bottom they've got the same sort of design then you get this little sleeve washer here and that slides in and up Hold your fork in the middle and push it down and that basically centers everything up. So now your fork is sitting nicely in between those two bearings. Then you need to put on what's called the compression sleeve. So that just slides over the top. Make sure you've got your lock washer there under your bolt. Just hand tighten it to start with. Get again 6mm Allen key. And this is where you tighten your compression up. Um, so your front wheel is not too loose in your steering and stuff. So what I do is hold the wheel with one hand. Get the Allen key in. Now you don't want to go too tight on this. It's start off, it's, it's um, yeah, that's just a little bit uh, tight, and then basically you want it to be nice and you know firm. You can see there's no rattling, and it's nice and solid in there. But the way um, the tight, how tight you want it is kind of a right of preference thing. But the general rule of thumb, and the way we send them out from the shop is, is we have the wheel facing front like that. I get my hand, give it a spin. And if it goes past halfway like it did just there, I mean, it's a good little flick. It's a little bit loose, so you want it a little bit tighter. We're just talking about, you know, a few mil sort of thing. Just give it a little tweak like that. Another little flip. And you'll see now it's stopping pretty much halfway. And that's um, pretty much where I set them from the shop. So that's all good. 
you can put your bearing cap on. Some people don't ride with these because they want to save the extra weight, but really they only weigh a few grams and they are good to put on because they protect, you know, if you get crap in your bearings, dust and stuff, you'll just mess up your, your headset. Just slide it on. Make sure the sleeper's facing out nice in front and you've got the little dial your ride there on the back. So just to remind you to, when you're riding your scooter to keep it dialed. Um, okay, that's the front. Now we'll do the back wheel. Loosen the nut. Take out your axle. Now normally putting a back wheel on the scooter is a bit of a hassle because you've got these things called spacers which go in between your wheel and your deck and um, they always fall out and then they're all fiddly and a, kind of a pain. But on the sleeper design we have what we call stay in place spacers. You'll see these little in a sleeve and that just sits into the back of the deck like that and the other side there like that and you just get your wheel slide it in get your axle done Simple as that. Lock washer. Bolt. Finger tight. Then this is the only thing you need the spanner for. If you haven't got a spanner you can get away with using a reasonable size flat blade screwdriver and just lock it in between the nut and the deck. Hold the nut. With the spanner. Start tightening. They're lock nuts with a nylon sleeve, so there's always a bit of pressure even from when you start tightening. So you want to do your do it do your wheel quite tight. Again, so there's no rattling. The park scooters get a lot of uh, stress put on them of jumping and lands and stuff, so if anything's a bit loose and you start riding tricks, you're just going to really knacky your scooter real quick. So I'm holding the nut there. It's long Allen key, so there's quite a bit of leverage there, and I'm giving it quite a good little tweak. But it's pretty tight. Again, give it a spin. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that is the bottom half of your scooter down. You can kind of give it a bit of a drop test just make sure it's not really rattling. The tools are rattling and a few other things are rattling but the scooter's good. So then you're almost done. Get your bars. Now you see with our, the sleeper bars, they've got that beautiful little SL cut out there. So the main thing is when you're putting your bars on, make sure when you put them on that the SL is facing out the front. Don't put your bars on backwards because it looks like that. Um, get the clamp. Make sure yep, the bars are the right way around. Yep, and then I get the clamp, slide it on. Again, 6mm Allen key. All the bolts, uh, apart from the brake, which are preset, are 6mm. The brake are 4mm. Um, so, yep. Just going to pre-tighten those a little bit just to um, hold the clamp in place. Just like that. And always make sure the clamp's just a mill or two above the bottom of the bars. So the bottom of the bars are going to slide down onto the top of your headset here. Um, and the clamp just sits just above. 
basically I kind of line that up really make sure the um, make sure the gap of the clamp is kind of lined up with the center of the bars doesn't really matter where your clamp sits but it's aesthetically you, know, you want it in the right place otherwise it just doesn't look any good so there we go I'll do that again and more in the video but basically so that clamp is only tightened just enough so the clamp stays in place drop it over your bars and then line it up I can't really show you lining it up here because you put it put the scooter on the ground basically and look over the top of the bars but uh, and just do it by eye but you line your your bars up and when you're happy that the bars are in the right position and it's all facing forward tighten it up and now with the main thing when you're tightening clamps is you just do a little bit of each bolt at a time don't over tighten one fully and then go to the next one because what it's actually doing is it's squeezing the bars and, and locking it into place on your um, compression sleeve again you'll find this kind of stuff much easier if you have a reasonably long allen key which gives you leverage uh, to tighten and undo things a bit easier it doesn't have to be crazy tight but reasonably tight for sure and that is it a holy moly complete